This is Steve Hayes for EPRA in London for EPRA's annual conference. I have with me here Alex Otto, Chief Executive for Germany's ECE Group. Hi. Alex, welcome. Um, how do you see the outlook for the uh, European retail and office development sector at the moment? Well, I think development will continue to be somewhat slow in the na next year, of course, in times of difficult economic times, development always has it the hardest. I think there'll be a lot of investments, so especially in existing good assets, and that market will continue to be strong. And which do you feel are the best markets and the worst markets in Europe at the moment for development? Of course, uh, mainly it's probably more of a question of which markets can you do development in at all and which can't, uh, where you can't do development. Germany certainly is a market where new assets can be developed. I guess uh, very big stable markets, Austria, France, uh, certainly uh, possible. It will be more difficult in Southern Europe at the moment. For one, the demand isn't there and also the financing is difficult to obtain at this point. Do you think that situation in Southern Europe will extend for a long time? I think so, because the countries will have to deal with their debt uh, issues and I think it will take a while to get out of it. Especially in our sector, the retail sector, uh, I think this will be very difficult because retailers will be under pressure, also in existing assets, and they will cut down their expansion plans. And this will lead to a lot of caution, especially on agreeing to uh, necessary rental rates uh, for new assets. So I think it will be very slow. And, uh what are the advantages and disadvantages of being a listed company in, in Germany? I think it depends very much which sector uh, you're in. If you're a holder of assets, uh, for example, like the Deutsche Euroshop, that's uh, very, very successful with a very clear strategy, a very top quality portfolio, then I think you do very well, also in difficult economic times as a listed company. I think for a development company where you take a lot of your own development risk, generally I think it's difficult to be a listed uh, company. I think also in the future it will be much more difficult. Those companies are better in private hands, like my company. Um, on your website you take exception to the bad press that uh, inner city shopping centres sometimes get. Um, how do you think shopping centre development can contribute to the dynamacy and um, development of a city? I think uh, it can be extremely helpful and I guess uh, the criticism of uh, these downtown shopping centres is rather a German phenomenon. I know that in the United States a lot of cities even give a lot of subsidies so that uh, developers invest in the inner cities. Um, now, uh, of course, if you want your retail structure is changing, new formats are expanding and very often within historical structures you can't even uh, really bring uh, or accommodate all these different formats. So an inner city shopping center has a chance to really um, provide you with the space to really have all uh, formats with strong drawing power um, within a city. For example, like a big electronics market or a big supermarket can't be accommodated in historic buildings. You bring a lot of parking also to the downtown, which helps. And uh, in addition, we do a lot of marketing in each city and try to really market really the whole downtown of the city so that synergies uh, happen between the downtowns and uh, the shopping centers. Uh, luckily, also, there's a lot of research on this issue, and I think most cities think about it uh, much more objectively in the meantime, because the research uh, shows rather clearly that there's a lot of synergy between uh, these shopping centers and the existing downtown retail. Uh, you mentioned uh, the states there, and a few years ago you made a, an investment in uh, Developers Diversified Retail Trust. Um, how's that investment going? Yeah, uh, if you follow the stock prices, it, it uh, can be seen that it has uh, turned out extremely well. The stock price has um, uh, appreciated uh, a lot, um, almost uh, quadrupled uh, since that time, and uh, um, I guess uh, generally the whole sector improved a lot uh, in the United States as companies were deleveraging and having clearer strategies. And did you find the experience in the States very different from Germany and Europe? Certainly, in the markets were not so much under pressure in Europe. I think, uh, I think uh, generally also the possibility to obtain credit in, in 2008 was extremely limited in the United States. However, it changed also very quickly. 
In Europe, uh, the credit markets remained open, especially for existing assets uh, throughout 2008, and that's why public companies had also suffered during the crisis. Uh, the stock prices were not hit as hard. And is he itself, uh, ha where do you see the big growth opportunities for your company in the next year? For us, we really want uh, to increase our asset base we have under management. Currently, we have 18.5 billion uh, euro assets under management. We want to extend this. I think there's uh, a lot of need for very professional asset and property managers, especially on the retail side. Uh, we see there's a lot of concentration uh, in the market, and especially in diff more difficult economic times, there really is uh, a lot of expertise uh, needed, and that's something that we can provide to institutional investors. So we are really looking forward to extend this, and uh, of course, I have to show every day again that uh, we are doing a superior job in, in property and asset management managing these, these properties. Alex, thank you very much. Thanks very much. For this and other industry interviews, please go to epra.com or read.com.